a learning loss. That's how Philadelphia's school superintendent describes what students are facing after missing out on so much time in their classrooms. Some students are already trying to adapt back after returning to hybrid learning earlier this week. And now additional instruction over the summer could be next. Our Jeff Cole is live in Old City with more from the school district. Jeff. Yeah, Shana, no sooner had just 2,200 of the district's youngest students returned to school this week. And Superintendent Bill Hyde is talking about, as you say, summer school and a term that he uses that you've reported something called learning loss. Bailey Stouffer was a cheerleader as an undergrad at Temple whose student taught in North Philly's McKinley Elementary. Now 24 with three years in as a kindergarten teacher, she instructs her 12 students online. I feel like I have worked more this year than like all of my years of life combined. While 2,200 students pre-K through second grade returned to in-person classes in city schools this week, Bailey's stayed home, but she hears those who have come back. What's it like to see and hear these kids? It's really great. Um, you can hear how excited they are to be back. Um, it has been a really long time. In a morning briefing, the superintendent of the 122,000 student district reported a smooth start to face-to-face -face classes. Individuals are naturally adapting to being back in schools and teachers are adapting to the technology particularly with students in person and students online. Another 40-some schools are to reopen Monday with 2,200 children returning, moving toward a goal of 9,000 of the district's youngest students back by March 22nd. Height says there's been a learning loss. So we are working to implement another grading period or an opportunity for students who fail a course this school year to receive additional instruction. He says a voluntary, robust, expanded year is being planned for all grades, but especially for high school students. Bailey Stouffer just hopes to see her little kids soon. The kids are just so excited about like the potential of even coming back to school. That's nice news to hear that they really are excited to come back. The district says that some of this extended summer school or extended year will be virtual. Others will be online. The teachers union said it could not comment on summer school. It does not know the details. It says it's been dealing with PPE shortages in some schools and cleanliness issues as well in this first week. In Old City, I'm Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News, Shana.